Hi, in this video, I'll use Mask Tool and Radials for Mini Geisha. Add Sphere from Scene Menu, Validate and Subdivide. Open Symmetry Menu and Enable Symmetry. Choose X Plane. All radial values are 1. Select Mask Tool and Paint for Geisha's hair. Decrease the radius and paint smooth lines. What can we do with Mask Tool? In this video, we can see how we can extract the masked part. Two ways to invert the masked area. First open Mask Settings and press Invert. Or tap to screen once. Select Stroke Painting and Paint to Black. Use Gizmo to extract painted area. To remove the mask, tap to Clear. Unselect the painting from the shading menu because it is difficult to work with paint. Now smooth the extracted area with Smooth Tool. I painted the extract event just for you to understand it better. You can extract without painting. Now paint the missing parts in the hair section we extracted. Select the symmetry, Paint Symmetrical. As I said before, decrease the radius and paint the sensitive areas like this. Or give the shell thickness value and extract it. It's easier to paint. I will explain in more detail later. Now add cylinder from scene menu and tap to radius. Make a body with the radius points of the cylinder. Open scene menu and turn off the view of head to work comfortably. Increase radius with smooth tool. Open symmetry menu, enable, and give value to radial Y, 6. Select only Y plane and smooth both side by turning. Since our shape has rounded edges, subdivide after smoothing everywhere. Now select Mask Tool to make a kimono. Select Symmetry and make a mask on the body with the symmetry setting we set before. Decrease the value to 3 and radius for sensitive masking. And delete unwanted places with the Unmask tool. Unselect Symmetry. In some rotations lock the rotation by holding Snap Cube and erase color in a V shape with Unmask. I will show you how to make two kinds of extract. We tried the first one on hair before. Like that, you can extract with Gizmo. In the second way, open the mask settings. Select Shell for extract and give value to the shell. First I'll try 0.07. Tap to extract. As you can see, extracted a certain thickness, the thickness is good for cloth. Now smooth with smooth tool. Let's make the other parts of the dress with this method. This method is very suitable for painting, but in order for the extract parts to be smooth, you must make the mask very sensitive. Make shell 0.09 this time, little thick. Smooth everywhere with smooth tool. Now let's color the dress. Change the matte cap and paint it to see the color better. First select and paint. You can make your colors matte by turning off the metalness and increase roughness. By increasing metalness, with yellow color it will be gold plated. Now let's make one flower to decorate the dress. Add sphere, validate and subdivide. Clone the sphere. Separate with gizmo and shape it like a leaf of a flower. Open scene menu, select radial from repeaters and give value eight to radial Y. Now all we have to do is to thin the object using the gizmo. Select a petal of the flower and shape it. As they are currently a group, they will all be affected. We need to validate the radial. You can choose what you want. You can watch my video about the group. I'll validate radial with an instance. Now let's open all the views and place the flower on the dress. Don't forget to save your project. Turn off the views except head. Open Symmetry to make the hollow of her eyes. Enabled and select Plain X. Choose Inflate Tool and Sub to make two eyes hollow. 
Smooth with Smooth Tool and Add Sphere for Eyes. Clone the sphere after validate and subdivide. Place both eyes in the spaces we created by moving with Gizmo. Clone the sphere for the mouth and make small mouth. Turn off painting to work more comfortably from the shading menu. Bring the rotation top and lock it, then select the clay tool and open the settings menu. Select this alpha, fall off and dynamic intensity by dragging make the hair bun. Select mask tool with low radius and make the bow to her hair. Select settings menu and give value 0.03 to shell thickness. And extract the masked area. Open that menu and make a voxel merge. Give value between 200 300 for resolution. And smooth with smooth tool with high radius. Now it's cylinder primitive from scene menu. Let's edit before you apply and make the middle of the bow with radius. After shaping, put it on the bow piece we just created. We will use cylinders to make bow. Now let's add cylinder again and before you validate, select hole. Let's give a bow shape with small circles. Select mirror after shaping. Select mirror and cylinder in scene menu and move the duo to head with gizmo. You can also make a bow without bringing the pieces to head. I preferred to carry them and make it in place. Unselect mirror and select cylinder to separate the cylinders and give a bow shape. Since we didn't validate the cylinder, we can direct our shape with radius settings. Now validate cylinder. When validate the mirror, choose keep instance and make group. After finished the shaping separate the group. Use drag tool to give the shape and pay attention to radius and intensity. When radius and intensity are low, you can make more fine dragging shaping. It only moves at the high setting. Add one more cylinder and shape for the other parts of the bow. Let's make a thin rectangle in this way and multiply this shape with mirror. Validate and select trim tool to cut the pieces. Select mirror, cylinder, and move to the other parts of the bow. Unselect mirror and select cylinder to make a complete adjustment with X, Y, Z axis. Select drag tool, decrease radius, and give the shape of the bow by dragging the parts. While shaping, don't change the topology by dragging with the tools on it too much. In that case, you can't paint very well. Select mirror in scene menu and validate by choosing join children. Select all the bow pieces, join them and rename as bow. Now let's combine face and body with voxel remesh with value between 300 400. Smooth the merged areas with smooth tool. Open shading menu and select white matcap and begin to paint the cute geisha. Select objects and paint all of them from stroke painting. Now let's paint the black pupils of her eyes. Open stroke menu and choose the alpha, fall off and dynamic intensity. Choose black color from stroke painting. Decrease the radius and paint to eyes by dragging. Open shading menu and select PBR mode and start lightening. For the lighting base, we will use tube tool instead of plane this time. Draw a longitudinal and posterior tube under the object. Thin with radius. Tap to reset view and make tube bigger with gizmo. Validate tube and make more bigger with gizmo. What we will do from now on is to add lights from the shading menu and provide a beautifully illuminated view to your object with environments. I'll come to the end of my video. If you want to learn more, please check out my other videos.